Hi, YouTube viewers. This is Rodeo Joe again. Hi, Martha. Here's an asshole. Shh. Screw you. Kids, today's video is why do vintage fender pickups die and how can I tell if it's dying? After many years of use, fender pickups die much more regularly than any other brand of pickups. I have an old National Lap Steel from 1937 that still sounds fresh. The reason has to do with the design and materials of the vintage fender pickups themselves. Since the windings of older fender pickups are in direct contact with the magnets, this has caused some problems. Over time, the magnets seem to chemically react with the windings, causing the windings to break. Once a single innermost layer of winding is broken, that's it. The pickup is on its way out. Due to magnetic fields, the pickup may still work, but it will sound thin and weak. To check this, when you turn down the tone control to that pickup, the volume will also turn down. That is a sure test of a sick fender pickup. Let me demonstrate. See? You can also measure the ohms of the pickup. Dead pickups will register open or no resistance, but since the pots are in circuit, an open pickup may read some bizarre high resistance and the value may bounce up and down due to the magnetic properties of the coils. You should do the ohm test right at the pickup leads, and to do this, have one lead disconnected from the circuit with the pots. So now you know. This pickup will soon be going to Centel pickups to be rewound. They have very reasonable pricing. We'll include a link to them below. I hope this video was somehow helpful to you. Thank you for watching. Oh, that's bad. I'm going to ask you. Screw you.